Hi, I'm Brainerd Carey, Director of Praxis Center, and today I want to talk a little bit about building communities, um, building a support system around you, uh, and uh, becoming part of the, the so-called conversation in the, in the art world or, or in the art circles that you're, you're near, and also be talking about a zine. Um, I've, I've, I've made videos before about why I think it's important to make zines, and you can look at other ones and see different kinds of zines that people have sent me. And it's always unique, and it always speaks in some ways to community. So today I want to talk about uh, Erica Schreiner. She sent me this zine, which is her latest zine. It's called The Plastic Sea. And, um, and in it, there's poems. And, um, and, and, and when she sent me this, she sent it to me with uh, a letter. I just, I just love handwriting, so I have to show you this. This is the letter she wrote to me and essentially said, you know, I like... I like what you're doing, uh, Brainerd. I'm an artist. Uh, she's from Portland uh, originally, and her first zine was was um, publishing her diary, right, and putting it in in, in Powell's books, uh, big bookstore, famous bookstore in Portland. So, um, and it was liberating, right? She got her work out there, she got her diary out there. You know, it opened the doors. It sounded like to her making other zines, and so just like that short book that uh, I just showed you, which was her zine. Um, she's moved around as an artist and she's also produced, uh, she said, I should send you my magazine too. I mean, this is no longer a zine, right? This is, this is more like a zine, something you can afford to send out and you can print and you can, you can make beautiful. This is, uh, a magazine she sent me that she made. And this isn't just one magazine. She sent me, um, three volumes of, of magazines of a magazine called Marietta. And Marietta is uh, a magazine she produced from 2018 to 2020. There's three volumes. And she's talking about artists uh, that are in Bushwick. She was living in Bushwick. And um, she's talking about artists that were there at the time. So I interview artists. And she was saying to me in the letter, I, I see that, you know, you did this. You've interviewed artists. And, and I did too. And she was trying to find a way to connect. Or that's how I'm reading this, uh, Erica. Trying to find a way to connect with um, the community of Bushwick, which is a vibrant arts community. But even if you're an artist there, like, how do you really connect? Do you go to the galleries? What do you do? So she made this magazine, Video Performance and Experimental Art. This is volume three. And, you know, there's, there's interviews. And it's, and it's really laid out nicely, right? It's a, it's, it's a beautiful looking magazine. And what she did was um, created, uh, in, in a sense, a community, right? A zine also serves this purpose. But uh, she engaged with her community. That's what excites me about all of this, Erica, and, and, and everyone, is that she made a zine to kind of liberate herself, get herself out there initially um, without any barriers, right? You could just get it out there, the zine, put it in a bookstore, mail it out. Or, um, and then that eventually built to this magazine as well as continuing zines. And, and, and again, I'm, I'm trying to emphasize that zines and, um, and what's called underground, or that's how... Uh, Erica phrased it too, is this kind of underground scene that you can get involved in because you notice other people making zines and other people collecting zines. And, and you'll see more about zines here because people keep sending me zines and I'll probably keep reviewing them like this. Um, so um, I'm going to put Erica's um, uh, you know website below in the comments. But if any of you have any comments or questions, let me know. I wanted to share this with you, not so much to review her zine, uh, but to let you know how exciting it is what she's doing and, um, and how you can do something similar with zines. How you can, you know, wh whether it's your, 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 your poetry, as in her latest zine, her writing, you could just as easily put images in here, you know. Um, and, uh, and I think it's a beautiful form. And, and, and most importantly, I think it's a beautiful way to connect with your community. I think it's it's uh, essential for artists to have a community of support, to have other artists that support them, and and so that you can support other artists. And and even if you're right in the middle of a community like Bushwick in you know um, in Brooklyn, it it's it's it still takes um, a language to get involved, right? How do you get involved? And making a zine is one of these incredibly wonderful ways of of. Um, of getting involved, you know, either making just your own, that's images and you copy them, Xerox and bind them and send them out, a very low level zine that costs almost nothing to make. Um, or you begin talking to other artists and writing about their art and and your 
your work or you make a zine on something else that's a curated zine of local um, I don't know thoughts poems um, documents uh, you know or as as Erica did brought it all the way into a magazine eventually but I'm just saying these are wonderful ways of connecting with um, with a community and and Erica I want to thank you for sending in your zine that was cool um, if anybody else wants to uh, just email me and I'll give you my address but um, Erica, thanks for sending that in. I think it's awesome what you're doing. I love the um, I love the magazine and I love the zine. I love the erasure of poetry, which um, which I think I should end by reading one of. Um, so in in these, these are called erasure poems. It's a form of uh, of uh, of working with words. But without going into that, I'll just read this one uh, very short poem to end this. You are always generated, synchronized from the start with the plastic sea. This was an experiment, the phenomena of the sea, of space, of landscape, also history. I love the heartbeat. Beautiful, right? So, um, so thanks for watching these and, uh, and Erica, thanks for sharing your, your work. And um, if anybody else has any questions about zines or wants to share theirs, I look forward to seeing it and hearing from you. I wish you well.